In this lesson of Free Bike Service School, we have the Shimano Diori, SLX, XT, and XTR re-derailer. You're going to learn about the differences between the smallest part of all these four 12-speed derailers. You will find out which differences do make sense and which do not justify the price difference. At the end, I'm going to ask you two most important questions regarding servicing Shimano MTB derailers. Let's start with the prices. The Diori will cost you about $64. The SLX will cost you $79. The XT will cost you $120. And the XT Racing $260. And now the details. All four derailers have the same Shimano Shadow RD Plus system. It means that in the Shadow system, the derailleur has a low profile, it's quite thin in its profile, so it's more difficult to damage it while hitting some rocks. And it's got the clutch or the chain stabilizer, which I'm going to show you in a second. Thus, all four derailleurs are cross-compatible with cassettes, chains, shifters, because they work on the same 12-speed Shimano drivetrains. Now, material and design differences. Dior and SLX don't have sealed bearings on the pulleys, they have bushings. XT, XTR have the bearings. This is the pulley from my used Dior derailleur and this is the new SLX. The bushings and the pulleys are exactly the same. This is the pulley. That means you're gonna need to service those more fre frequently than XTR and XT. These caps don't have any additional rubber seals as we used to have on the older models of Shimano derailleurs. This is XT, this is XTR. Interestingly, they don't have same bearings. Looks like we have larger balls on the XT bearing and smaller one on the XTR. The weight is the same. The caps are different. Actually, I like this one from XT more because it sits tight on the inner bearing race right here. And this is the cap just like on the Dior or SLX like this. So when you remove it from the derailleur, it falls out. It would be nice to have this rubber seal here. Maybe they just dump those because of some watt saving. I don't know. XT pulley, 13 grams. XTR pulley, 10 grams. SLX, Diori. The next difference between the XTR and these three is the fluoric coated link bushings. Shimano say that there are eight bushings fluoric coated on the XTR and then seven on XT, SLX and Diori. My question is, where are they eight bushings here? I was always saying that there is one, two, three and four. The sixth one here is for the spring. You can see it here. That would be the sixth one, but I don't see eight. Maybe they count like half, half. And then on XTR, we would have fluoric coated eight halves of those bushings and just seven all on all the rest. If you know better, just let us know. The next difference is about the material that the B axle and the P axle is made of. On the XTR, we have here the alloy anodized B axle and steel ones on all the rest. And then the P axle is made of steel on all these for derailers. This is why you can tune your XTR derailleur by buying titanium P-axle from other brands. Then we've got the bracket body. This is why the B-axle is called B-axle from bracket. On the XTR it's made of aluminium anodized. On all other three, uh, Dior included, is the alloy painted. Now it's time for the links. This is the outer link and the inner link. Let's have the SLX now. Now we will see how much in common the Diori SLX and XT have. The outer plate and the inner plate is made of aluminum, which is painted on Diori SLX and XT. Once again, it's this part and this part, painted aluminum. And then when we get to the XTR, it's anodized aluminum. Once again, outer and inner link made of aluminum, but anodized, not painted. It looks beautiful. Now we have the cages, the outer and the inner plate, and there will be more differences right now between those four. 
XTR, the outer plate is made of carbon fiber reinforced polymer, so it's very light. The inner one is from aluminum, anodized. Then XT and SLX will have the same thing, alloy painted for both outer and inner. And then Diori will have steel, steel painted. And so my friends, I know there's a little bit magic uh, behind the XTR and, and also just the more expensive components. As you can see, there's not so many differences between these four derailleurs. These three are almost identical. Here we have steel and there is bearings on the XT and XTR pulleys. Yes, this spring, this rusty spring on XTR is exactly the same as all on all other three derailleurs. And after one extremely muddy race, I have not disassembled uh, the derailleur. This seal here is a rubbish seal. It makes the water possible to go to come inside here and more difficult to go outside. So this spring should be serviced at least once a year. Another weak spot of all four Shimano derailleurs is the clutch. Even though the Shimano derailleurs work better now in my opinion than SRAM on 12-speed drivetrains, SRAM have better uh, bearing clutch. This clutch needs to be serviced even twice a year if you ride regularly. You put the grease between this plate and the outer surface of this, um, of this bearing, not inside. That's what the manual say, says. If you don't do it, uh, it will diminish the shifting performance by far. So which one would I recommend to buy? Of course, the Diora. Diora is the best in terms of the price and uh, it will just do beautifully on 12-speed drivetrains. You can use it on trail bike, you can use it on um, XC bike, you can easily race on marathons cross-country with Diori. If you have a little bit more money, you want something a little bit better, why not spend money for the XT? I would say it's also the sweet spot. If you have the sponsor, why not the XTR? It's not worse than XT, it's a little bit better and much more expensive. It's time for two questions, my students. Question number one is, what difference between XTXTR and SLX Diore derailleur will make a difference in the long-term use of those derailleurs? And question number two, which two weak spots of all these four derailleurs must be serviced regularly? Thank you for watching this video and learning with me. See you soon.